Yo, what is going on YouTube? What's going on everybody, man? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for tuning in with me today, man. Today we're checking out some Paul Anka. Um, put your head on my shoulder. Okay, this has been requested here recently on the channel with some of the music I've been doing. So we're going to check it out today. Put your head on my shoulder. I hope it, it seems like it's Anka, uh, Anka, but I'm terrible with names and I'm terrible with pronunciation of a lot of things that I hear for the first time here. So we're going to be checking this one out. So thank you guys for putting me on to this one, man. Uh, and we'll, we'll go ahead and see what's happening right here. I appreciate all your suggestions all the time, hitting up that comment section. So appreciate that, man. Let's go ahead and get into this one. But, be but before we hop into this one, man, if you guys do enjoy the content I put out on a daily basis, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out that description. Subscribe is free. Description has amazing amazing ways that you can help me in the channel if you so choose man and i appreciate you guys giving it a look over let's go ahead and get into this one paul anka put your head on my shoulder man here we are put your head on my shoulder True Put voice. your lips next to mine, dear. Won't you kiss me once, baby? Love that. Just a kiss, good night, maybe. You and I will fall in love. You and I will fall in love. People. song was done so good this song was done so good i felt like you have so much going on i gotta see when this song was released man obviously we're looking at a photo of the photo alone just makes me feel like the song is from a different time i want to say maybe even the 50s i don't know though we'll, we'll find that out and then the techniques that are used here definitely make me go back as well um but everything that's being used here you know i'm thinking about some of the earlier songs i've i've heard and this definitely has a lot of layers to it to be considered if it's from a time that I'm thinking it's from. You have uh, the gentleman harmonies over here on the right ear. Sounds like maybe ladies on the left ear. You have the keys uh, taking place at a, at a good point. Um, he's singing. It sounds matured. He looks a little younger here to me on the picture. His, his voice sounds very mature, but I love the, the baby, the way he brings that in. Maybe. And then there's this section where they kind of chop it up again. Um, let me see if I can find that real quick. All right, I think it's right here, man. And it's just the way they chop it up. It's like this technique happening at this time is just so cool to me, man. It just shows how innovative they were when they were creating music and still in the studio and really brainstorming and, and theory, uh, idea crafting. Just what can we do to make this sound a little bit different and to put it ahead of the pack? Let's hear it. Oh, 
I'm sorry, this thing is cool. This thing is just too cool, man. Way to go, Paul Anka and, and staff, man. Whoever helped him produce this song because this was produced at such a good quality, in my opinion, man. There's just too much to honor and bow down to on this track, man. So put your head on my shoulder. This thing was amazing fire. Let's go ahead and hop into some of the history and see if we can find out the bits that I'm curious about. All right, guys, so we got Put Your Head on My Shoulder right here by Paul Anka, uh, released in 1959, so it was... Towards the end of the 50s, uh, kind of doo-wop period. Um, so that's what we got with this one. And the songwriter on this one is Paul himself, man. So you know, I love that. I love that. So this is a song by a Canadian-born singer-songwriter. Another one for Canada. Um, Paul's version was recorded in August 1958. Of course, it released in 1959. It says three weeks before he recorded his number one hit, Lonely Boy, uh, and was released as a single on his 1959 uh, album, okay? Interesting enough, it says here that it was kept out of the number one spot by Mac the Knife, which we've done on this channel by Bobby Darren, who I definitely plan on getting back and doing some of those as well, man. It says the song was again popular when it was covered and released as a single by The Letterman in 1968. This version peaked at number 44 on the Billboard Hot 100. It was more successful on the easy listening chart, reaching up to number eight man and i guess these uh this information down here is just more about cover versions of the song it looks like it's been covered quite a few times where maybe it charted um but you know was only really interested to hear about this one right here but there's not much more information about it let's learn about paul right here you got paul anka still uh out there live doing well man um he's aged 82 right now and he was born in canada uh he has citizenship in canada and the United States. He was in uh, Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. He started in 1955, and he's still present today, man. I thought this song was amazing. It looks like he has quite a few other names up here of things. Diana, Lonely Boy, You're Having My Baby, um, and I don't know if there's other ones. Uh, She's a Lady here, but I, I know that's the Tom Jones song. I don't know if he redid that one as well, but uh, this one was just a beautiful song, man. This was just a beautiful song. A lot to be appreciated and enjoyed by this song, so I'm sure his other hits are just as good, man. So shout out to Paul Anka. Uh, amazing song right here, and I hope you guys enjoyed rocking out with me on this one. I just love the kind of doo-wop period, man. It's just fun. It's an innocent time, and it's always gro It's always got a nice little groove uh, to it that you can sway to and just love, man. So I'm all about it. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in with me here today. If there's more, once again, just let me know down in the comments below. I'd appreciate that. If you guys enjoy the content I put out on a daily basis, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out that description, man. Consider becoming a member here on my YouTube or Patreon for as little as three bucks. It's an amazing way to support the channel. Support me if you guys are enjoying the content, man. Thank you guys so much for spending some of your time with me, and I'll see you on the next one, man. Peace.